Buzz TV, where we got Nixon Radio. Rodeo, and you're going to introduce yourself. I'm uh, Ethan Harrison. I play drums and sing. My name is uh, Nick Kardashian. <laughs> no, my name is Travis Singleton. I play bass, do backup vocals. Josh is. Uh, I'm Josh. I am. Uh, I'm face looking. He's concerned. Uh, um, <laughs> social media. Josh got some media. Josh. Josh. Now we're missing the singer. The singer. He's being a singer and not being here. <laughs> He's probably upstairs waiting for his steak to arrive. That's, yeah, with the blonde. And the brunette on the inside. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, is he married? Maybe not. Maybe he is, he's home. He is married. <laughs> Never yeah. mind, he went home. Actually, it's so the opposite. He's at home with his kids. <laughs> he's up there eating cereal with three dudes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's right. So, uh, he had to go. But, uh, there is a singer and I, I uh, recorded a play it earlier. Uh, you guys have been kind of busy, actually. I mean, we just, just got crazy. off. Yeah, we just played work to it. It was awesome. I uh, played Seattle at work. And, uh, you know, it's always, you go there as a kid and stuff, and you're like, oh man, I'd love to be one of the bands on stage. And then we actually were. So, awesome. that was really cool. Yeah, I'm pretty bold stage. Nice. Just recorded our new album. Right. Uh, the, un the Understatement. Yeah, that's coming out. Right. Is that the one I got, or is it the original? Uh, I think you have the original. Yeah, What's that called? The uh, first album is called Made to Be, and it came out in uh, 2004. So the new one, uh, The Understate, is coming out July 13th. And where do we find that at? Uh, we're going to have them on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, uh, our own uh, website, uh, pretty much anywhere online. If you Google the Nixon Rodeo, uh, you'll be able to Yeah, thanks. I love this little stuff. red bag, you know, booty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> booty, booty, booty. Travis sports pretty well. Travis, Travis sports pretty well. Yeah. So, well. I was gonna model the tank top if he was in the shorts. Well, there you yeah, go. Yeah, right. Okay. It's a combo, right. combo team. Absolutely. <laughs> and you, you were gonna flash oh, people's I'll wear you whatever you guys want me to wear. You tried to sell the CDs out there if I could flash them. He was. He's taking donations, mostly for his body. Was strictly. <laughs> It's a joke, but that's what I told her. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if I was, if I was a girl, <laughs> sell my body for this album. We would be selling a lot of albums. <laughs> I don't know. I might not be a hot shit. Think about it. What if I was a girl? I do. Yeah. I was just gonna say. There you go. Settle. You gotta get up and get right and get going. Then you guys live in Spokane. Yeah. Yeah. We're all uh, from Spokane or uh, around the area. That's where we grew up. We played different bands. Met up and now uh, we're based on Spokane, but uh, travel all around. And, uh, uh, we're not here We're still like our families here, this is where we live, but we're playing out, of, out in Boise, Idaho a lot. Uh, we're going down to like Southern Oregon, Seattle, Montana, so we're traveling all around. And you got a few big things coming up. Yeah, we're playing uh, with Machine Head on June 24th at the Spokane Native Festival. And then we have our album release on July 13th at the center in Spokane. Here, we're at the yep. center. We're at the center right now. Yeah, so. same place we play tonight, and a uh, bunch of other shows out of town too. Uh, June 28th, we're playing in Moscow. We're playing with just a lot going on with the new album. It's just really exciting, but really busy. Yeah, it's just getting uh, and Kendra, right? Yeah. Which is a good friend of uh, my friends. So. Yeah, I thought she was texting me. She's crazy. She like, yes. Yeah. yeah, just when she said, she's like, she's, she's crazy. She loves her party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so I was like, no, she's not here. Uh, <laughs> her well, her boys are here. Fun, fun fact, she, she texted me the other day. She goes, Josh, did you get um, a picture message of a boobs? Can you send those? <laughs> I, uh, I, I was cleaning up my phone, and I don't know how, but I think I sent them to you. And I was, just like, I was like, if I get those, I'm going to send you a picture of my tits. Yes. <laughs> so I, I, didn't, I didn't get them, but I was still like, I kind of want to mess with her. So yeah. I should just like right now send her a picture of my tits. So like, right. Three in the morning. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. A week later. <laughs> Oh, you actually got the video. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Your dad would never tell me. <laughs> no, just like the whole, like, how she did it. Just like, well, Josh, you probably got a picture of my tits. That's <laughs> like super Whatever. Because <laughs> she's like band mom, you know. She's like, she's, 
she's our manager and is like, oh, Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you met her, you guys are playing. Uh, we played uh, Two Broke to Rock, a uh, big rock kind of event uh, a year ago, over a year ago. And this was where we met her. And she's managing a band and on tour with them. And she saw us and just was really impressed. Uh, actually, it was in Spokane that she saw us play. But yeah, she's based out of North Carolina, so we do all of our business over uh, email and on the phone all the time. We just uh, give them all the time. Yeah, Aaron just said that she's a really good friend. So, but yeah, you, you're always in California. Yep. What do you do there? So uh, the big name convention, which is the big new convention they do uh, every year, I'm just hanging out. I'm just this little young buck from Spokane in this smaller van and uh, just walking around. I know. Yeah, I'm walking around like with. Iron Maiden, Dream Theater, Mastodon all over, and then we're going up the stairs uh, in the Hilton, and I see uh, Aaron Rossi from uh, Street. Yeah. And it's like, oh, hey, you know? He's like, what's up? He's like, what's up? He just, what's up? So he walked in. <laughs> he is so mellow. I don't, I don't do autographs <laughs> until after five. No, you did not say that. Yeah, not say that. Don't listen bucks. to that. <laughs> I'm joking. That is the nicest, bellest people you'll ever meet. We went to the bar in Post Falls, a little hole in the wall, but it was uh, Sunday. And uh, we went in, sat down, and the guy that was doing this karaoke, you know, that was really, 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 I was just right there. You know, he was right there taking pictures of them two, you know, like yeah. they were a couple, you know. And I was like, remember me over here? <laughs> and then he's like, is it okay if I just you know, tell a couple people? Next to me, it's coming over the loudspeaker. Oh, no. There's Mr. Cats in there. We're just like swamped. I look and my ball in front of me is like all shots. You know, uh, <laughs> it's like your shots for everything. People just find the shots and shots and shots. Yeah, take them. You know, no, I had to drive. Aaron, <laughs> go ahead, you take the shots. I'm driving. You know, but, uh, it was a lot. Of, we had a blast. We were just gonna go for a couple minutes. You know, just stop in at a drink. Uh, we had a little bit of a down there. Go to that crazy town of Post Falls. Yeah, that was Post Falls, I don't know. Yeah, but it's awesome, you know, the fans are really cool. People out there. So, so what feels like? Absolutely. That's honestly good. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Yeah, you know, like, honestly, like, you're I mean, when you play, you know, it's just a fucking basement. Yeah, it's yeah, like, you know, now. Right. Which is fun, but, I mean, the crowd, the interaction we get, especially like, in our band, like, because we've all played in a lot of bands and all that. For some reason, our music and our crowd and our fans they just start nuts. Like, they just go crazy and yeah, a lot of good reactions. And they're like the nicest people, you know? Like, they're super, they're super real. They're just, yeah. yeah. You know, coming from, like, we were in metal bands and we were in pop punk bands together. And, and it was always fun and good times. And you know, some people are always putting a smile and shots on. Like, it's kind of super real. They're just truly really glad that you're there playing. And, like, they're just they really honestly, when they say, Love your band, and they really do. You can see their eyes, and they're so. You know the words they ever saw on them, and they're they coming to every show like we just found about that we've got on the show yesterday. Yeah, it was so, so impromptu. Yeah, it's 24 it's, hours, and we already have people coming out. They're like, I'm coming out just to see you guys. It's like, yeah. okay, okay. And they're like, hey, I'm coming to your next show, and your next yeah. show. It's like, can I get your new CD? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got away. Hey, Ethan, got I, away. Watched, I watched I watched that Like it. You guys don't know, Batman fan. Batman fan. Got a tattoo. Batman fan. Yeah. Batman fan. <laughs> so, send all your Superman stuff. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. Kryptonite. That's right. That's send well. all your Kryptonite. No. Just uh, no, but, uh, Marvel vs. DC. No, but like, well, fans would be like, bring him Batman stuff. Like, bring that's pretty cool. And you're like, what? At the that same show. Cool. It's, it's, it's crazy. Last time we were here, there was a little figurine. Oh, like some additional moment or something. That was really? really cool. People feel like they're a part of the mix of rodeo, and that's so great. It's like a family. That's what we try yeah. to do, because we're not ever going to be that big. It's just like, go on our bus, come out when it's time to play, and play on our club bus. We're never going to be that big. We have to see, uh, to see our van. <laughs> that's so. one of the reasons we don't be out there. But, too, like, yeah, where do you see other bands? It's exhausting. You're you're bringing in all your gear, you're playing, and you have to tear everything down. And it gets monotonous and it's exhausting. But we're the band that's always going to be signing everything. We're at the first step. 
after the show, we're outside selling CDs. At work tour, we're going around work tour, yeah. teams and just meeting people and talking to them, trying to actually make connections. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And it, it makes a difference. I mean, trust me. Well, I mean, you see those bands. I mean, there's a lot of great bands that do that, and they earned it, that they can just miss. I'll be in my bus, I'm giving them time to play, and they do that, and that's great. Good for them. I just don't think I could ever do that, and I, that's the thing is I connect with these other guys. We just can't do that. We, we love interaction with fans. It's because, like I said, they're nuts. That's that's just it. Like those people on stage, like the big bands that you see, they get the big bands. They ride, and they have no happiness. Like, and just people want to hang out with you for free. How, how is this? It's the dream job. I mean, how cool is that? So, like, we're not going to take advantage of that for a second. Absolutely. Ever. So, I mean, that's what I love about this band. We're all four dedicated. We all four love what we do. Uh, we this will be our job eventually. Yeah. So, the next steps of work, you know, the players are going to get out on the display. Uh, that's the first time we did banners, actually, it's show tonight to see how it goes over. Thanks, yeah. Turn it around. Yeah. Yeah, well, with our CD release, we have a bunch of businesses that are helping us out, and they're just really behind us 100%. Bring on Tapatio is the Mexican restaurant. Amazing. We're doing our CD listening party oh, yeah, there next week. week. Next Tuesday on yeah. June 25th. June 25th. It's Tuesday, so the day after the shoot. Yeah. So we we'll have dinner there. Everyone's gonna have the first chance to get the new album. I know. I know now I'm like, I know. Now they're talking about it. Well they're like their family owned business and uh Brent, our singer, is like best friends with Miguel, one of the guys who works there. I think he's busy a manager or an owner now. He owns it. Yeah. I've met him a couple times. He's really nice guy. He's a nice man. He's a good one. 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 And then Whiskey Dance is also a sponsor. And then our uh, studio and Steve Lake, who's our good one. And uh, we just got our new one. We got a brand new guitar fix. We haven't even announced it yet, but we have an endorsement from Steve Lake. So thank you, Steve Lake. That's awesome. And, uh, all three of them have their own custom fix now. Yeah. Really yeah. so, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, uh, what instrument I play? Um, I play the guitar. I run the mix of the solo head, the orange portable cap, and it goes through. I got moss cables, and I've got moss pedals. My boss, every day. Yeah, and then I have it. I smell everything. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> I, I, I just smell green from two miles away. I have a Gibson SG. Yeah. Yeah. I just bought a new Gibson SG. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the rig I'm running right now. Yeah. I mean, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'll take that all day. Got picks. Got picks. And then the picks. No, I think that, like I said, it's a blow my rig. But I, I have it now. Yeah. That's the best one I've ever had. So, orange man, a long time. Yeah. 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 I'll love you more if I get it. Yeah, well, the best one to play with is like your dream band to, to play with. Oh, it depends. Like, like what more, scale? Um, like Metallica? Oh, no, Metallica. You know? I mean, it's my favorite band. If we were open for Metallica today, uh, I mean, I'd love to like go on tour. <laughs> I'd love to like go on tour with like. Like, yeah. like, 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 like an actual band that I can see myself like going on tour with, or like, so you know, even like, 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 like Cedar, like Hinder, even like, 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 like those, those bands, or like, yeah, Hinder, or Buck Cherry, yeah, like those movies. bands that I can actually see, like, all right, we're down with the same genre, like, playing, you know, I, I can see that, I'm really excited. Yeah. Right, so they'll be watching, you know, and yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> so, yeah, want to play with you? Yeah. <laughs> Other bands, like bands I love, you know, like, uh, used, or, or like, I mean, it's not necessarily like in our wheelhouse, but the same type of genre, but I was even thinking like, uh, Box Burns, right? Yeah. Like, uh, Papa Roach would be cool, because that's kind of the same type of vibe, and they're cool dudes. Oh, yeah. Is that a guess? No, no, no. Well, well, we played, well, we played with uh, a bunch of the bands that come to town. 
So like this album was getting ready so we can get road ready and tour ready and actually have a good product that we could promote and, and get in the van and the trailer. Like we didn't have that until a couple months ago. So now the next step is having you guys invite us along and you get their name out there and have a chance to see and move the next step and we're going to tour and stuff. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, we've already been in negotiation with several bands with their tours and just trying to figure all that out and buy-ons and everything and uh, what our expenses are, but that's definitely our plan. After the album's out, we plan on finding a big tour to jump on and actually get around the country now. Instead of just regional, we're doing that on our own, but we need to get in front of the big crowd and the big bands and really meet the rest of the country. Right, yeah, they'll still hear you, right? And the Buzz TV, they're gonna hear you. Yeah. You know, awesome. so, um, yeah. So, guys, you're gonna have to listen to it. We're gonna play the music for you. Anything else that's dropped to ask here? You wanna add, or? So I guess we're talking about the new single. Music video? Music video. Uh, and our website. Oh, so we can reach us out. Okay, well, tell them. So, uh, make sure to check us out on our Facebook. Uh, just type in the Nixon Rodeo. Facebook, and you'll find our page. We're actually about to release our music video for our first single from the record called Opposite of Me. And uh, we completely self produced and uh, directed, and so make sure you check that out. And uh, also check out our website, uh, www.nixonradio.com, and you can get uh, our merchandise, you can get the new album, and hear all the latest news and uh, upcoming tours that we're going to be yeah, I know the girls just love you. Huh. You have no idea. No, no, I yeah. Oh, we yeah. Ev after every <laughs> single show, okay, girls and guys, after every single show, we make him and Brent go to the merch booth and to start hanging out, out selling them. merch. Oh, Sign on, guys. Our girls were right Travis there. and I. Travis, <laughs> me and Travis, we're we're pretty pro at loading the vans. Like we just load <laughs> we're, like, we're like we're like you guys just go do your thing. We're gonna go back there. If there's anyone that wants our autograph when we're done, we'll be there later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what would take us maybe 15 20 minutes to load it up? <laughs> no, we I sell his body parts. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put that here in pink tails and short shorts. So we, we should just make little figurines, little dolls, <laughs> You should. You should do like spawn figurines. You, you should make it creepy. No. <laughs> you should do a bobblehead. A bobblehead night. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Alright, I gotta let these guys get on. They've been busy and they're tired and they're nice enough to stay and talk to us. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Buzz TV. Thank you, Buzz TV. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Buzz TV. I'm Shana. We got Nixon Rodeo. We're at their uh, album release party. Yeah, CD listening party. All right. So now we got the singer. Yes. We got him. Here he is. And we, we got a live CD launch. This is Chris. We did this there. Our sponsor is my best friend Miguel Garcia. He owns Regional Tapatio and also his brother in law Randy. Um, so, to repay them for sponsoring us, we had all of our friends and family come out and uh, do our pre album release party. Yep, tonight was the first time uh, all the fans can pick up the brand new album, The Understatement. And uh, anyone that donated to the Kickstarter, we have the packages, some brand new shirts and hoodies and everything. So we just had a good time, good dinner, acoustic performance. And, and y'all recovered from last night? Uh, we're yeah. trying to. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, they played with Machine Head last night, and I'm telling you, that place was freaking packed. I mean, it was packed out. It was incredible. Monday night doesn't stop. So oh my great. god, no, it was just going crazy. The whole floor of upstairs was just shaking. It was nuts. How did you, how did you like it? I mean, we loved it. Yeah? Well, Pickford, Machine Head was like, I'm sure it's got some impression. Right. Yeah. 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 And you're going where next? Friday is uh, Moscow. Yep. Right. We have a show in Moscow, Idaho, right. oh, and then we have uh, Violet. Yeah. yeah, our buddies Violet over there. Moscow, I should just take a part of the job. Um, and then we have, uh, we're gearing up for our senior release on July 13th, so. My mouth is burning. <laughs> 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 yeah, 